Monday, the campers went over to Grange Park and used our Explore on 15 mobile app to learn more about the culture and history of the area. So now we're going to get to do the fun part. There are 10 major questions and you get to learn about this space. Um, well, we have done this thing called Explore 150 and it is an app where when you go to different places you have different quests and you get different points. So after they've had the chance to check out the TIG's Global Issues website, each student then chooses a social issue that's important to them. We post the issue on the wall and every student can vote on, the, on any idea that they like using a small set of stickers. Tell us which one you really feel passionate about. We're here at Sprout Camp and the kids are learning and meeting a lot of industry specialists. Uh, including people, gamers who are teaching the kids all the different type of games they can develop. Each student team has picked a different social issue and using the MakerBot 3D printers here at the OCAD Inclusive Design Institute, they've each picked some kind of object or animal to prototype and build on a 3D printer related to their projects. Amazing to see that this actually was made in a printer. It was exciting to see Nathan come in because uh, he's a video game designer and I want to be a video game designer. So it was cool to, for him to give me tips about how to become a video game designer. On Tuesday we had a low carbon lunch which meant that it used as little resources as possible and as little water as possible. So it's the last day of Sprout Ideas Camp and each team of students has a presentation prepared for an expert panel, professionals in the area of technology and entrepreneurship. And we're about to hear from each project. They're going to explain their game prototype and what they've developed, the purpose of their game and how far they've come along.